Today I'm going to demonstrate three different centrifugal force generators. <clears throat> now the first two are sort of the same thing but set up different. So the first one is the easiest to understand. So your output is this pivot moving back and forth, okay? So see how much force there is on that? Okay. Now the second one, I'm going to move this pivot and this weight's going to turn. So the third one is a little bit different. So we have a weight on the outside, so this is a spinning weight. Then we have this center that we can shift. So we want to wait till this gets around to here, and then we want to move it out, and then we want to hold it. So there's limitations to what you can do by hand. Because it does take quite a bit of force to hold this after a certain point. But you can see the centrifugal force, see the centrifugal force is pulling it out, so that's actually moving it. So the, the only energy really should be the energy it takes to hold it, not to move it. So the three different ones that I've shown you, I think the first one is probably the most straightforward, the easiest, and the most powerful. And it's really just a two-stage oscillator turned on its side, except we can Spin it up to a much faster speed to get a lot more energy. Out. But you do have to be careful because this moving around of the center is going to affect the speed. You see? See, moving the center, we can actually cause it to accelerate. So there is quite a bit of force here, but you have to use it right or you'll lose all your speed on your weight. 